Well, hello guys, I am Joe Hun with Empire AV Services and Installations. Welcome to our YouTube channel. For over 11 years, we've been automating homes. And along the journey, we've learned a lot. Not only that, but we started a YouTube channel to showcase our projects, but also educate the industry. One of the biggest questions that we get is how do you set up a surround sound? And today, we're gonna get to the details. I got a Denon 3800 here. Let's unbox it. Here we go. Now, this is a receiver. This is the brain and the machine that's going to process your surround sound. But before we dive into it, let's talk about surround sounds. What is surround sound? What is audio? And let's start with the numbers. I am pretty sure that at some point, uh, during your YouTube research, you've heard the term 5.1 or 7.1. You might have heard the term 5.1.2 and 0.4 and 0.6. That first number is going to be the amount of surround channels. Uh, your first surround sound or your first audio system is the two channel system, a right and a left. From there, you can step into a three channel system. At that point, you are actually introducing a center channel. When it comes to cinematic viewing, your center channel is going to be your most important channel because all of the dialogue is going to come out of this center channel. Who's calling me? Hello. Five channel. That is when you are introducing surrounds and surround backs. You can go all the way to a 15 channel system if you want to. But now let's talk about that second number, that 5.1 or .2. That is your low frequency. That is your subwoofer, uh, as some of us know it. This is what's going to give you the bass. This is what's going to give you the bang. This is what's going to give you the big dinosaur coming chasing you or that big loud car driving by you, right? From there, surround sound technology has evolved so much that throughout the years they've introduced things like Dolby Atmos. So if you've ever heard the term 5.1.2, that third number, that's your Dolby Atmos. This is 3D technology for sounds that are mastered to come from above you. Hopefully, they gave you a detailed understanding of what a surround sound is. If you do have additional questions, write them below, doing the best I can to keep this video entertaining and educational, but not dumping a bunch of information on you. So if there's still questions, write them below. Let's get to the product. Uh, it's going to come with catalogs, it's going to come with antennas, it's going to come with labels for your speakers. A microphone stand assembly. This is how you're going to calibrate your system and plug up your microphone, which today we are gonna be doing all of this. And then this is your receiver. Let's get to the details. This is a beauty right here. This is the Denon 3800. This is actually a nine channel receiver. The majority of the front of the receivers are gonna look the same. You usually have a volume or a source selection. You have shortcuts, you have a menu. Some of these have, nope, this one doesn't open. Some of them will have the option to open this and you have uh, extra buttons on here. But this is what the front of your receiver is gonna look like. The important stuff is in the back. I know that to some people, this may be a bit overwhelming. So think of this as inputs and outputs, right? This piece of equipment is going to receive inputs, whether it's a cable box, a DVD player, a Roku, and it's gonna send it out to a display, whether it's a projector or a television, and then it's gonna send it out to the speakers. Those speakers can be in wall, in ceiling, it doesn't matter. This is connected to an amplifier, this is connected to your audio video. Everything is going to be sectioned off. So if you look up here at the top, these are gonna be your HDMI inputs. Now they are labeled, but you do not have to plug in what it says there. It says cable, it says media player, it says Blu-ray. This is to help you memorize and plug those products in there. But if you have a PS5 and this doesn't say PS5, you could technically plug it into any of this HDMI inputs and as long as you're on that source, you'll get it to the display. Now, do keep in mind that technology for these HDMIs actually varies per receiver. There's certain receiver that have different uh, HDMI pass-through, some may be 4K, some may be 8K. So do keep in mind that not all inputs are built the same. Outputs, this receiver has one HDMI output and it actually has two secondary outputs. 
This is when you start using a receiver to manage or control a secondary zone. This receiver can be set up as a surround sound and then your secondary zone can actually be video or just audio. What does that mean? That you can send one display to two different sources. Your main surround sound and for example, the TV in the backyard. So your HDMI's are gonna plug into here. Your source is gonna go to this side. After that, your output is gonna go right here. And then this is going to go to your display. That is how you handle the video of a receiver. In a little while, we're gonna plug it up and we're actually gonna set it up and I'm gonna take you through all the extractors. But I wanted, to, I wanted you to understand the video inputs and outputs. You'll also learn that there's audio inputs and outputs on this receiver. Things to keep in mind that not all receivers are built the same. There's actually certain receivers that can process audio from the HDMI to a secondary zone, but usually entry level receivers can only do stereo into the secondary zone. So if you are doing anything that has to do with a zone two, look at the details of the product that you're purchasing to make sure that it can fit the features that you're trying to set up. Inputs, outputs, some of these outputs and inputs can be assigned to different configurations, different settings, different setup. Uh, but these are going to be the audio inputs that match the HDMI inputs. From there, we do have some digital inputs, optical uh, and digital inputs that can be assigned to different uh, products. From there, we have some control. We have IR out, IR in, um, SR260 for control, um, R, sorry, RS232 for control, and then important, very important, a network. Now, these do come with antennas, and it is a wireless piece of equipment. It does have Wi-Fi, but keep in mind that to make it more reliable, it is recommended that you hardwire it with an Ethernet cable into your modem, router, or switch to make sure that you are on the network. All right, well, I did enough explaining on the back of the receiver. Let's plug this up. Let's get some speaker wires. Let's get to work. All right, now that I got everything plugged in, let's pause a second and let's talk about speaker connections. One of the things that most people ask is, how do I know what's my center, what's my right, what's my left, what's my surround, what's my surround back? Um, you can always Google this and we'll do the best we can to explain it. But the way your surround sound system is going to be laid out is your center channel is going to be the speaker in the middle of the room directly under your TV. Your front right speaker is going to be the one on the right when you're facing the TV and the one on the left is the one on the left when you're facing the TV. From there, you're gonna work into your surrounds, which is going to be the first set of surround speakers. Uh, these speakers are hopefully meant to go right next to you or behind you within a 45 degree angle. From there, you can start going into your surround backs that are not meant to go behind you. The way a plane in a surround sound works, it's extremely directional. The more channels you have, the more angles you're gonna get audio from, the more spacing there is going to be between speakers, also the more uh, points of audio you're going to get. So if a plane flies by, it's going to go from the center channel to the right, to the surround, to the surround back, and now the plane flew around you, and that's how you get a surround sound. So let's actually connect a speaker. Extremely important. You guys see this, this is copper. This is what's going to connect to the receiver and also what's going to connect to your speaker. Now it is extremely important that you strip this neatly and when you plug it in, you make sure that none of your copper is touching. Majority of speaker wire is going to be color coded. This is a four conductor wire, but all you need is a two conductor 16 2 14 2 um, The thicker the gauge, the more it can handle. But 16 gauge, uh, it's a good standard and majority of speakers and receiver can process it. From there, all speakers are actually color coded. So you're gonna grab your wires, you're gonna push it in the little hole, you're gonna close it. Same thing on this side, you're gonna put it in the little hole, you're gonna close it. You're going to make sure that there's no copper exposed or nothing touches. And the same thing on the back of the receiver. Now, there is banana clips that you can plug in on this uh, to make this easier. 
most people. Uh, don't order them. If you can order them, get you some banana clips. It'll make the installation a lot easier. And that's basically a coupler that goes on this uh, and then that connects into the receiver. Now from there, let's say this is our center channel. If you look down here, each of the outputs is going to be labeled. So if you have your front right, front left, your center, your surround, surround back, you're gonna walk all your way um, to your Dolby Atmos speakers. Now some of this stuff is going to say assignable and we'll address that in a bit. Basically you're going to unscrew your speaker terminals. You're going to put your red in the red. Sorry, let's make that neat. You're gonna put this in there and you're gonna tighten it up. Hopefully, should have got a manicure. Don't talk about me guys, or ladies. Black on black, red on red, as you can see, no extra copper hanging out or sticking around or anything is touching. Those are the type of things that are certain your receiver into protection mode. And technically, you're gonna follow this step with every single speaker in the room. From there, you're going to go into your subwoofer. There is a cable here that says LFE. Subwoofer, where am I? Right here. These are our subwoofers. Now you keep in mind that this is amplified, this is preamp. Receiver is gonna have an RCA coming out of this into an RCA into the subwoofer, and your subwoofer must be plugged in to an outlet. There is amplified like in-wall subwoofers, and this will go into a separate amplifier, but we're not gonna get to the details of that. We're doing speakers and standard uh, RCA connections. Now that you got everything set up, if you can label all of your speakers, there's a little sticker that you can put on them. This would help you in case you ever need to unplug anything um, to plug it back up. From there, plug in your antennas. A lot of people don't listen to AM, FM, but you do have an antenna right here. Do keep in mind that these small antennas right here are for your Wi-Fi. A lot of people skip this and don't connect this, but you do have to connect this in order for your system to have a reliable Bluetooth and a reliable Wi-Fi connection. So basically these are gonna open up and screw there, guys. I can, I can only make that so simple. All right, seems like we got good understanding of what's going on back here. Now let's turn this bad boy on and let's get to the settings. Come around. Just turned on the receiver. The receiver has an HDMI out going into my television. And as you can see, we are displaying the Denon receiver. Cool thing about these receivers is they're actually gonna walk you through, to, through the entire step. Uh, <laughs> they're gonna walk you through all of the steps of the process. You just have to take everything that I taught you today and apply it to this. First, English, French, Spanish, whatever you speak, select your language. From there, it's gonna give you the configuration. Now, this is what we discussed earlier. Uh, how are you gonna set up the system? What you're going to be choosing? So the first thing that you're gonna do is your speaker setup. It's gonna tell you to place each speaker in the proper position. Uh, if you need assistance, ask for help. From here, it's gonna show you, give you questions, answers on what speakers you're trying to connect and how to connect them. If you click on that, it'll give you an explanation of what speaker is what. This is a great example. Your center, your right, your left, surround, left, surround right, surround back, surround left. All this up here could be Dolby Atmos stuff. System could be configured to have front highs, surround highs, these are your subwoofers. So as you can see, the system will actually walk you through speaker placement if you have any questions. Now, you're basically just gonna check along until you get to the actual uh, configuration. Your nine channels, what do you wanna do with them? Do you wanna set them up as fronts? Do you wanna set them up as highs? And then you're gonna get to the speaker connections. Now, one of the cool things that Denon is doing is they're actually showing you Everything that I showed you earlier, they're gonna show you how to strip your wire, they're gonna show you how to connect it into the receiver, they're gonna show you how to plug everything up. So, if you look up here, uh, now we're getting to the speaker configuration. It's letting you know that your front right is your front left, where your front left should be. You're basically, at this point, just following instructions. Do you have a center channel? Yes, because we have a three-channel system. From there, you're basically just going to follow along. All right, so once you got all of your speakers plugged up, it's actually going to allow you to test your system. As you can see, it's going to prompt you. Can you hear your surround right or your surround left? We're just gonna click yes. The center channel, which is the one that we have connected. 
Can you guys hear that? That means it's working. That means you did it properly. Now this is also going to give you uh, the feature or the advantage of see, seeing if you did something wrong. So if the system is telling you that these speakers should play and you have this one playing, obviously if you plug something in wrong, go fix it. From there, you're gonna go down speaker by speaker and make sure that everything is connected correctly to make sure that your left is not coming out of your right and your right is not coming out of your left. And then, you know, yeah, bam. Acoustic calibration. This is what enhances the audio experience of the room. Cool thing about these receivers is they come with a microphone. This microphone is going to connect into your receiver to do an Odyssey setup. What does that mean? This microphone, once you connect it into the system, is going to prompt you to set the microphone in different locations of the room. Uh, then it's going to start sending commands and audio out of each individual speaker. And then it's going to measure the distance that it took from that noise to come from that speaker into the selected seating area. Once you got your microphone connected, then it's gonna prompt you to sit it at the best seating area of the house, which is going to be the center right in the middle. You do wanna set up your microphone at ear height. And then from there, it's gonna start sending commands. You're gonna hear big, loud, but since I only plug one in and it's not detecting audio, then it's not going to calibrate it. But basically, you're going to follow these steps and it's going to send noises. You're going to see it come out of the center, the right, the left. Uh, it's a loud cracking noise. And then from there, uh, it's going to prompt you to set it to a different location. Once you move it from that location and you have the room calibrated, your system is basically set. Let's dive a little bit deeper into some of these settings. All right, so let's talk about speaker configuration. This receiver we actually set up as a 7.1. If you go into the settings by clicking setup, you're gonna get a menu display. From there, you're actually going to be able to select speakers, manual setup, speaker layout, and this is where you get to actually select the layout of your system. As you can see, our main zone is set up as a 7.1 and then the secondary speakers are set up as a zone two. One of the things that I mentioned is that this receiver actually has the option to do HD zone outs. So as you can see, there's a bunch of configurations that you can set up your system in. The secondary option uh, for your second zone is going to separate the main zone from the second zone. And then from there, it shows you how to plug everything in. Your zone two is going to be assigned to the high right and the high left. Keep in mind, this is only a scenario where you're using your main receiver for a secondary zone. All right, so now that you've configured all of your audio settings, we're gonna go into the network settings. This receiver, it's a network receiver, so you do wanna connect it to the network. If you go into your network settings of your system, you can actually connect it and get it up and running. Denon has Heos built-in, which is wireless casting, and it also has the option to add devices. So if you get another receiver or separate players, you can connect them to this one. Once you got it up and running, we can actually test the system. First thing that we're gonna do, because we haven't connected it to the network, we're gonna test out the Bluetooth capabilities of the system. There's an input here that says Bluetooth. We're gonna switch our receiver to Bluetooth. From there, we're gonna go in our settings and we're gonna select our Denon 3800 as our selected device. From there, we're gonna to go to YouTube. We're gonna select our latest video. 133 inch massive display. Two and separate 55 inch TVs, a 5.1 surround sound. And that is how you set up a 5.1 surround sound. Thank you for joining me today. I hope that you learned something. Don't forget, look, listen, and live with us. Subscribe to the channel. I'll see y'all on the next one.